Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to get Windows Movie Maker on Windows 11. So if you're not a fan of ClipChamp and you miss the old Windows Movie Maker to kind of edit your home movies, you could still actually use it on Windows 11, even though technically it's not available. So what you need to do is go to the archive.org website, so they have a lot of old software here. And then you'll see this option here for Windows Movie Maker. And then if you go here, you have some options to download it. So you're going to want to do the ISO image. So you want to just click here and download it. It's 77 megabytes. And then once you have the image downloaded, you'll have it here. So then you'll need to get into the ISO file to be able to extract the software. So there's a couple ways you could do it. Uh, you could right click it and mount it. And then you could just drag the RAR file out of here. Click OK to the security message. Now we can open this up. And we have the executable here, which I already have here. So let me delete this one. And if you drag it out of here, you might get this message saying there's an error. And that's because there's a password on it. So to get around that, you could either use a program like you know WinRAR, which is made to extract RAR files, or even 7-Zip, which I have here. So once you have 7-Zip installed, you just need to navigate to the location of the ISO file here. And then you could double click it. Let me make this a little smaller here. And then you can see you have the zip file within here. You could double click that. Now you can see we have the executable here. And we could drag this out to the desktop. And then the password is 123, which they have on the website as well. And then from here, you could double click it to start the installation of Windows Movie Maker. And then once that's done, you'll have a shortcut for it here. Then you could open it up, you know, load your video files, and then you could start using it. You have, you know, your home screen, your animations, visual effects, project settings, view settings edit settings and so on. So I'm not going to show you how to use it, so that's going to be up to you. So assuming you've uh, used it in the past, but it should work just like it did back in the old days. All right, so once again, go to the website here. I'll put a link in the description for this. Download the ISO image. And you'll have it here. And then you'll need to use some type of program to open it. So you can mount it, like I said, by right-clicking it. And then you could drag the RAR file out of here. And then you'll need to find a program to extract the RAR file, either WinRAR or 7-Zip. 7-Zip is free, so I'll put a link in the description for that. So if you use 7-Zip, just kind of navigate to where the location of your file is here. Like that. So you have two options. If you dragged the RAR file out of the ISO file, you could just open that up from there. Or you could just download the ISO file, don't even worry about mounting it, and just double click it from within 7-Zip, and then double click the RAR file, and then drag the executable out to your desktop or wherever, and then you could install it. Alright, so once again, I'll put a link in the description for the Windows Movie Maker website. Remember the password is 123, which it also tells you on there, and then I'll put a link in the description for 7-Zip, and then you could try it out for yourself. Alright, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe. Thank mm -hmm. you.